All right, guys, what is going on? So today we are playing at Harden Golf Club in North Wales. So, well, first thing first, as you can see from the drone footage, uh, this golf course, it, it's really scenic. I really, really enjoyed this round. Um, it's not for the faint of heart because there is quite a lot of hills and stuff. But for me, that's what makes it really good because there's a lot of scenic holes. And you'll see throughout this round, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of really interesting holes. I mean, it's quite short, I guess, but because there's a lot of dog legs, there's a lot of hills and stuff, it plays quite differently to what I'm used to. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of why I enjoyed it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are starting things off with a short par four. Unfortunately, the tee box is pretty narrow, so I couldn't get the best angle. Uh, of the first shot of the day but all I really wanted to do was hit six iron into the corner of the fairway and yeah I struck it really well and I just yeah hit it exactly where I wanted to be so yeah got off to a really good start and like I said exactly where I wanted to be right smack bang in the middle of the fairway unfortunately I did just push my um, approach shot so with the pitching wedge from the middle of the fairway, it wasn't the best. I've got work to do now. Got to up and down it for the par. So using a 54 degree, I think. Just want to chip one up there. Land it a little bit short, but it just came off a little bit low. So it, it ran on quite a bit. So now I've got, yeah, like eight foot left for the par. So leave myself a little bit of work to do. And unfortunately, I just scraped the left edge. So yeah, we don't get off to a par, but you know what? A bogey, it is what it is. Um, I would have liked to go the par from where I was with my second shot, like the position I was. But anyway, moving on to the second hole. Par three, it's about 150 or so yards, but the flag was on the front of the green, so ended up hitting a really nice nine iron. Ended up being a really good shot. So I've only got, yeah, about 10, 11 foot for the birdie. And literally straight away, as you can probably see there, I, it, it, well, to be honest, it may have hit my pitch mark or well, someone else's anyway, and it, it bobbled and just, yeah, just ricocheted really just to the left uh, massively. So, uh, yeah, it was it, that was a bit annoying because I hit a really good shot in there and it would be nice to get back with a birdie. But, you know, par's not the end of the world. And anyway, moving on to the third hole, par four, and I, I may be taking a bit of anger um, into that one because I hit a really good drive. It did end up running quite well a lot longer than expected so it actually went ended up in the rough and well the weather's getting a lot better here in the UK so the conditions were a lot firmer than what I was expecting to be honest I mean the fairways are firm running fast but the greens I mean to be honest like I really didn't get the hang of them especially chipping I mean as you can see there I thought I played a really good one there but it's just ran and ran like I've still got oh, like 10 12 foot for uh, well, the par now, and honestly, I cannot believe that didn't go in. That is literally hanging on there. And, yeah, it's one of those where I could probably waited another, yeah, well, I could have waited all day, and it may have ended up rolling in at some point, but I just thought, you know what, it's not going to go in probably in, like, 10 seconds, so I just tapped it in for, uh, unfortunately, another bogey, and... Yeah, this is the worst drive I've hit in a long time. You couldn't really tell, and the shot tracer, fortunately, didn't get it up. Um, but, well, they didn't uh, pick it up. But, yeah, it was, it was really bad, and I've left myself no shot in. I tried to hit, like, a just a really low, punchy 5-iron, but I just didn't catch it. So I've still got, like, 205 yards up the hill. So I thought, I, well, I couldn't even see where the green was. I haven't played here before, so didn't really know where I was aiming. Hit a six iron. Uh, didn't, I didn't catch it super great, but it ended up going right in the middle of the fairway. So I was happy with it, but <laughs> not happy with that one to say the least. Easy chip, well, easy little pitch, and I just chunked it. Um, ended up, like I said, because it was firm conditions, it ended up running quite a little bit longer than what I thought. And uh, I mean, hit a yeah, decent putt there, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting it to get a good score out especially after that first shot but a double is disappointing i should have come out of there with bogey at worst uh anyway next hole another par three it's only 100 105 yards i i used a 50 degree i should have used a 54 because it's downhill and i i, I hit my 50 degree that yardage anyway but it's playing like a club downhill but there was a brook in front of the green you can just see it now and i just yeah hit way too long <laughs> and it, yeah, ended up 
Uh, well, left me a, a chip on from a tricky position and just about made the bogey. So we'll get out of there with a bogey and then move on to the sixth hole. So another par four, 390, and I just, this is one of the best drives. Um, in contrast to the, well, two holes ago, I hit the worst drive I've hit in the wild. This is probably the best drive I've hit in the wild. Just flushed it right down the center of the fairway and left myself just a pitching wedge in. I struck this one well, but I just pulled it. Uh, you can't really tell on camera where the green is actually, but I just pulled it, but it just managed to stay on the green, pin high, so it was a good club. And good roll, but it was just, just need to hit it a little bit more. Uh, but I, I, it's two foot left for the par, and let's see. Oh, I just about make that. I probably rushed that <laughs> because I was aiming way too much to uh, the left-hand side. So I just caught the left-hand side of the cup. And now moving on to the seventh hole. A really short par five. Probably should be a par four in my opinion. Didn't really catch this one. It was a little bit low off the heel. Uh, but to be honest, it ended up working out all right. It, I managed to get it through the trees. And yeah, I've only got a six iron in now. 195 yards in. Struck this one really well, but it was just peeling off to the right. And like I said, I thought I struck this one really well. It was good yardage, but the greens are so fast and firm. It just, yeah, got a really good bounce. It wasn't a good chip really here into the into the green. Unfortunately, it was a bit of work uh, being done on this green. I mean, it didn't affect my putt or anything like that. But um, yeah, it, again, it is what it is. Is work being done. But, yeah, to be honest, that was, it, it's a par, but it felt like I really should have done better. I mean, it was only like 430 yards, that par 5. It is narrow off the tee, but I felt like I should have done better from there. So, uh, it, was a, it was a par, but I felt like I should have had a 4, really. But then, coming back, I'm probably <laughs> I'm doing like consecutive, well, um, consecutive bad drives, good drives. And I hit a really good drive, and it went so far down this hill. It was so close to being in the water, uh, but I managed to get away with it. Hit a 54 degree, and like I said, the firm conditions, it bounced down the bottom of this hill, but went way too far, but came back nicely, as you can see there. It was, yeah, judged really, really well, that this chip on. And yeah, got the par. So I was really happy with that one, that, that chip, that up and down. It's not something I'm known for, but when it does come off, it comes off well. Now, six iron down this hill, and this is what I mean, these scenic holes, like, I haven't really talked about the course a whole lot, but, yeah, because it is so hilly and stuff, there's just a lot of scenic holes, and I, I really like downhill holes, holes, because they just look really nice, so, yeah, hit a, a decent drive, a little bit skinny, but then hit a good 99 into this green, and, yeah, just got a a makeable birdie putt, but I just wasn't aggressive enough with that one. A little bit too timid, but an easy pass. So the front nine, I am five over. So to be honest, I will take that. I'm under my handicap by one shot so far, and that was with a poor double bogey. So yeah, let's hope we continue this and just, yeah, make a few mistakes and we'll be on for a good score. So next, next drive. Another good one, just, yeah, just, I am struggling a little bit. I'm, I'm losing them off to the right. I mean, you can probably see the tendencies in my last few rounds. That's something I'm doing, so I kind of need to either aim down the left side and just play with the fade. But sometimes I'm just fading it too much. Um, and, yeah, it's left me this pitch shot, and I just didn't play it too well. So now I'm in the bunker, and you know my bunker play isn't the, the best. But I've been practicing, and you know what? Considering how I've been playing in bunkers recently, I'll take that one. 10 foot put up the hill, and it just came back down the hill. So I'll take it. Just didn't read that one. Super great. And unfortunately, it's not a par to start off the back nine. But yeah, it's a bogey. I think that second shot was just a mistake. I really should have just played safe, gone to the, through the middle of the bunkers and just onto the green and two putt. But yeah, there we go. Live and learn. So moving on to the eleventh hole, another par three. I do like courses with a lot of par threes, and yeah, this one it was it was a good shot. But you'll see again. <sighs> I'm not judging the pace of these greens and the firmness because I that's probably landed pin eye. Got ourselves a tricky chip, and now just watch that run. 
Uh, that landed. Yeah, I should, probably should have played a little flop and softer, but yeah, now missed the pop up because of that. Ah, that was just a lack of concentration. That's so <laughs> that's so annoying watching that back. That's it. That's just an easy shot gone. Like it's uh, it happens. Uh, so that's a very disappointing double uh, because from the tee shot I thought that was like a birdie opportunity <laughs> and ended up coming off with a with a double and a par three. That was shocking so moving on to another par five um it was a good drive to be honest but it was a bit healy so that's why i was um not really liking the strike of it but ended up being okay the second shot i i was so confused with this because it was i was such a, like i was on such an overhanging lie i played it right where i was aiming and it just didn't turn over so unfortunately i managed to find this hit the tree and came down just pitch on I landed this way short of the flag, and it just kept on running and running. And um, yeah, it's another one where I could really be chipping and pitching better and giving myself more opportunities for the birdie putts and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we make the par, so no harm done. Now, anyway, moving on to the par 4, 13th hole, 363 yards. The wind was behind me on this hole, and I took advantage of it and hit a really good drive. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't exactly know the proper line, but I just, yeah, I, I managed to find it because it's ended up being like, well, 60 yards from the green. Little chip on, and I probably could have played this one a little bit more aggressively and towards the flag, but I thought I'd be safe. And yeah, well, it was, it was a decent shot. I got 12 foot for the birdie, so I'll definitely take that. And again, I, I just need to be a bit more aggressive with these birdie putts. I know I want to make the pars, but it would be nice to get a birdie, so... I just need to hit those first put first puts a little bit harder because that was something I've done a few times on um, in this round. Now moving on to the par three 14th hole, only like 130 yards. I'm using a pitching wedge. I thought I played this great and I landed this short of the flag again, but it's literally bounced and bounced and caught the downhill at the back of the green. And yeah, unfortunately I've got another chip on. So <sighs> that's just something that's happening a lot in this round i, I just didn't I, I, to be honest i wasn't really thinking enough where to play it i really needed to kind of like visualize where i needed to land the ball and stuff especially learning from how firm the greens are so i didn't do that until literally until this i remember thinking i've got to do that more on that hole but yeah we ended up coming off with a bogey so a little bit disappointing uh but then anyway moving on to the 15th par four Again, I, I sliced this one a little bit and the wind sort of took this one into the trees. So I'm having to hit like a recovery pitching wedge over the trees into the fairway. I struck it well. I couldn't really tell where it was ending up because of the trees were in the way. And it just ended up being a little bit too much to the left. Got a little chip, well, a little pitch on and I just, I just got way underneath it. So now I've left myself a massive putt, like a 30 foot putt for the par. So, yeah, again, again, it's just my chipping, which wasn't there. My pitching and chipping wasn't there today. Uh, but, yeah, it was actually a really good putt from where I was. I was happy with that two putt. Well, there we go. There's a two putt. Sorry for spoiling it. But, um, yeah. So, I'm 10 over through 15 holes. So, we need to get, get through these last three holes with a... If I get a couple of pars, I'd be happy, definitely. So, I ended up hitting a really good drive, but I just caught this one... Well, I caught this one well. It just, again, leaked it off to the right. And it this fairway is sloped massively to the right. I and mean, it kicked off there and it just went down into this ditch. And I struck this 54 degree well. I, I could tell it was at the flag, but I kind of lost it in the sunlight. And this probably landed right next to the hole, to be honest, judging by the line. But yeah, it ended up bouncing quite away. But I judged the pace nicely at that put. And left myself two foot for the par. And yeah, roll this one straight into the middle of the hole. So I'll take that one from where I was. It was quite a tricky little uh, pitch because I couldn't really tell where the flag was and stuff. So I'll take that par, definitely. Now moving on to probably the longest par four, I think, on this hole, uh, on this course. 17th, 420 yards. And I, uh, yeah, took advantage. The wind, I think, actually turned and it was behind me a little bit. Or I just hit this one really well because I ended up hitting it about 300 or well, 290. And yeah, it ended up with a pitching wedge in. 
And I played a really safe shot here. It was quite, it's quite a difficult green, I think. And there's a, yeah, there's a big tier below it with a bunker. So I played this one safely. Ended up about 20 foot for the birdie. And again, I'm just, I mean, to be fair, that was quite a long putt. And I was happy to judge that one there. But I was just disappointed to see the putts come up short once again. So now moving on to 18th hole, probably the signature hole on this golf course. 150 yards downhill with a nine iron. Want to end up... Want to end nicely, but I hit the worst shot of the day. I pulled this massively, as you can see, out of bounds. Shocking. So it's going to be three off the tee, unfortunately. I was playing nicely up until this point. And yeah, I thought, why can't I have done that? Why can't I have hit that shot first time around? Uh, right into the middle of the green. And yeah, it's just, that was just disappointing, but that's just... That's just summing up my game at times. Ended up, well, playing well, and then I just cock it up right at the end. <laughs> but 20 foot for the bogey, obviously, now. It would be nice to finish off with it. Like, it would have been good before, but yeah, it's quite a long way. So got a little bit of work to do for the double to finish. We ended up rolling in, middle of the hole. So, yeah, not the best way to end, but to be fair... I played decent. It was just my short game let me down. I could have been more aggressive with putts, but I'll take that for the for a course I've never played before. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more great content coming really soon. I'm literally flying out to Florida in a couple of days' time, so I can't wait to share that with you all. So if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do. Click that notification bell, so that way you don't miss a video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you later.